Hi, I'm Mihaela from Learn Polymer Clay and I have prepared a short summer inspired polymer clay tutorial for you. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful pair of ocean waves hoop earrings. So I am working with green polymer clay that I have pre previously conditioned and then I passed the clay through the largest setting of my atlas pass machine and I'm going to use as I said a beautiful texture plate from global land and in, in fact you have um, two parts you have uh, a classic ocean uh, pattern that I'm going to use for the back of the piece um, and you also have uh, a beautiful uh, retro swirl texture and I am going to use this uh, texture to um, texture the front of um, the components that I'm going to use for the earrings then I used um, a round cutter to cut out um, a round piece of polymer clay. Um, and then I am going to use a very beautiful border cutter to cut out my the two components that I am going to use to make a pair of earrings. So I will do my best to cut out two pieces that look uh, pretty similar in size and shape. And again, you will have to uh, use your smoothing tools to smooth off the edges of the cutout areas and all around the, the component. And then I'm going to use gold mica powder to um, enhance the beauty of the textured area. And I am applying on top of the pattern and on the margins of the components as well. When you are happy with the look of the clay pieces, um, you can bake them for 40 minutes in the preheated oven. I bake my pieces on parchment paper because I'm texturing the front and the back of the components in the same time. And then you'll have to let the clay cool down and um, I decided to finish these pieces by applying Ranger Glossy Accents for a gloss-like effect, for a um, glass-like effect. You have to be very careful because um, uh, when you work with uh, pieces with cutout areas, um, there is a risk of having um, liquid. Um, spilled um, on on your tiles and you have to keep baby wipes near and clean um, such uh, excess of uh, um, glossy accents if you notice bubbles inside the glossy accents you'll just have to use a toothpick and take them take them out take them to the side let the glossy accents dry um, and then I wanted to attach these um, um, clay components to hoop earrings and so I had this dilemma how to attach uh, these metal hoop components to clay pieces and I didn't want to poke holes and I looked a little bit online and I found several clayers resin to and um, I've um, decided to use this idea uh, with uh, these um, um, clay components and I'm sure I'm go going to use this idea in the future. I think it is great. Um, so I applied a thin layer of um, uh, UV resin on, on top of the hoop earrings and then all around all over the polymer clay component then I used a UV lamp to uh, cure the resin 
uh, and then I am going to use um, a, a, a pin, a jewelry pin set in gold color and in fact I'm using the, um, the round ball pins, the smaller ones and I put a bead cap in crystal bead and then I added a second flower uh, cap and then um, I used the tip of uh, the uh, I used the um, thinner part of the round nose pliers to make uh, a small loop. I strengthened the base of the wire and then I used the pliers to open sideways the small loop. And I attach it to, to the hoop component. And I would attach um, the dangle element to the hoop earring. I would um, close the loop sideways, of course, and then I would use again round nose pliers to open um, the jump ring of the ear wire. I would close it sideways and these are the finished earrings and uh, I hope that you like this idea and I hope that you are inspired to make such uh, hoop earrings with uh, cut out areas and uh, um, and a dangle element. Thank you for watching the tutorial and stay tuned for more inspiration for work with polymer clay.